every man and driver nation, what's happening? Welcome back to the ORV Park. Your off-road review dry streak is over. We have with us a 2015 Mitsubishi Outlander Sport GT 2.4 all-wheel control vehicle. Yes, four-wheel drive, and what a beautiful day to take her off-road. Let's get started. Are you as excited as I am? Holy crap, we are back. It's taking a while to do this, but we're doing it. We're gonna begin by going downhill. Oh, by the way, there is four wheel auto, four wheel lock and two wheel drive. Let's go four wheel auto, see what it does. See if it kicks in, see what happens. We'll put it into lock sooner or later but in the meantime let's go down the famous well this is not even famous screw that never mind we're just going down the hill here soft dirt gravel like here we have 8.5 inches of ground clearance on this outlander sport which is across all trim levels on this vehicle more specs and details here pretty soon whoa there's a deep spot As you can tell i got three cameras going on I think the pond from hell is dry, so I may look for my GoPro from a year and a half ago. Okay, that worked out just fine, as I expected. So some information about this car in 2015. Uh, two different powertrains, a two liter inline four cylinder. There's also a 2.4 liter inline four cylinder, and that 2.4 liter is new this year for the Outlander Sport. It gets 20 more horsepower uh, as opposed to the two liter from last year. So this gets 168 horses, 167 pound-feet of torque, and the two liter gets 148 horsepower. A lot of numbers at you, but that's just how it is. Now there is a five-speed manual transmission available in the lowest trim level. Otherwise, every other vehicle in the lineup is a CVT, which means this has a CVT. I'm not too excited about it, uh, but that's just the way it is. Oh, we have, it's called a GT, and that means a grand touring trim level, which means we have this amazing glass panoramic sunroof. It goes all the way back, it even opens up. That's an extra five grand for that tech package. Let me double check. That is called the uh, GT touring package. That's what that is, okay? So that's what we have right here. All right. Um, Let's put this in four wheel lock, which it is now. We're gonna go up this hill right here to my right and see how it does. Again, CVT, so I don't know, it might be momentum. That's the key here. Oh, handled it nicely. That was pretty easy, right? Where else do I wanna go? Oh, yeah. Gosh, I haven't been here for a while. You know, we've been on this uh, dry streak of off-road reviews, and uh, it just hasn't been appropriate. I haven't had a lot of vehicles that were off-road worthy, let alone four-wheel drive worthy. So that's why we haven't been doing this for a while. We are still in uh, four-wheel lock, rolling on 18-inch alloy wheels, all season tires. So nothing too special about these. So that will showcase how good this car is in four-wheel drive. Yeah, I know wheels or tires make a big difference on how well a vehicle will handle off-road conditions. And yes, this is off-road for all of you trolls out there. Oh, you're not off-road or I, my driveway is more off-road than that. Well, fine. Maybe you live in an ORV park, <laughs> but this is off-road. All right, we're going to go up uh, one of our steep climbs, which is uh, straight ahead. And at the base of that, is our pond from hell and there is no pond. No one's getting stuck today. This is gonna be challenging. I'm gonna take it fairly slow. We're in four wheel lock to see how the CVT handles this hillside right here. RPM's just under 2,000. 
We're going maybe five miles per hour. Wow, this is good. <laughs> Not doing anything dangerous. A little bit of traction control kicked in, light went on. Stayed around 2000 RPM. Hey, there you go. See, that's that's uh, responsible, right? Not doing anything crazy. Still handling the off-road conditions. Camera's still on the car. All right. All right, two more passes. One's gonna be going down and one's gonna be going up. So here's our going down. Watching the camera so it doesn't get knocked over. All right, again, soft, dirt, sand, light conditions going down. Got to be careful, I don't want to bottom out even though I have eight and a half inches of ground clearance. All right, doing good. Fuel economy numbers on this bad boy. 23 city, 26 highway in the four wheel drive. We have put 170 miles on it so far. And I am averaging 23.5 miles per gallon in mixed driving. So that is right there, real close to what uh, Mitsubishi is uh, promising or estimating. So good on you, Mitsubishi, for being true to your estimations. Okay, this is the Everyman Driver Gauntlet. I don't know why I came up with the word gauntlet, but we're going through a, a fairly narrow valley, which should be somewhat challenging, but at this rate, I think the Outlander Sport can handle it. No doubt about that. Just kind of a beautiful visual here as we go through. Kind of show some of the articulation the wheels with the wheels suspension you can probably see in the camera view I hope of what the wheels are doing, if they're trying to grab or not. Oh, see that root right there to our left? Let's see if I can avoid knocking the camera off. Got roots to my right, too. Four-wheel drive, lock, working it. Cool. One more section as we make our way up. Oh, it's so good to be back out here. Showcasing a vehicle in an environment where it's designed to conquer. I'm really surprised and uh, uh, impressed CVT this has a really nice smooth acceleration as well I have driven this uh, a fair amount on both highway and around town so that 23 and a half miles per gallon of mixed driving is very accurate and it's what I've experienced good stuff I hope you like that and that's going to officially wrap up our return to the Spokane ORV Park in the 2015 Mitsubishi Outlander Sport. We have the 2.4 GT all-wheel control. 
It has a beginning MSRP of 196. Our tester starts at 25. We also have an extra package on it. So what you see right here, just under $30,000. I'll have much more information on everymandriver.com, which by the way, now features articles in Spanish. That's right. Everyman Driver is now bilingual here in 2015 and moving forward in 2016. Until next time, I'm Dave Erickson. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.